I want to show another piece of tape that we're going to air for the first time. The filmmaker just mentioned it. We had Stone pleading the fifth to the Jan 6 committee, but the filmmakers were inside the hotel room as the scale of this insurrection became clear on that very day. They captured the darkening mood. Stone, who had hoped to be at the march and speaking from the lectern, watches the coverage and goes into a kind of defense or spin mode. I am getting out of town. Graphic image of a woman that was apparently shot earlier today. We don't have an age. Uh, we're told she's in critical condition. She um, is now being treated at a local hospital. And this came to us. This proves that we had nothing to do with this. Yeah. We did nothing wrong. We did nothing wrong. We're bringing this to you. Change your plans. We've got to get these to this car just, somehow. Yeah. Well, just everything. everything. Okay, okay. Everything is now going, both trolleys. Change of plans. Let's get out of town. Uh, what do you see in both that new new clip we have, as well as what we aired tonight in in the Stone case? So, Ari, when you're planning a coup, it's usually not the best idea to have a camera crew around recording it. Um, this footage is likely going to spell real trouble for Roger Stone and, as well, importantly, for Donald Trump. And it starts with, you know, the prior footage going all the way back to the beginning of November that you've already showed. But this clip that you just showed uh, on January 6th, Roger Stone saying he did nothing wrong. I mean, for a guy who claims to be doing nothing wrong, he certainly hasn't acted like someone with nothing to hide. I mean, innocent people don't go seeking preemptive pardons and plead the Fifth Amendment, as he did uh, before the January 6th committee when questioned about their actions. I mean, I live in D.C., and I happened to be in town when the events of January 6th happened. At no point did I think, oh, I better get out of town and pack my bags and request call up the president and seek a pardon. Those are not the actions of a guy who genuinely believes he did nothing wrong. What do you see in the way that he has navigated, and it got him in trouble in the Mueller probe as well, he hypes, he does bluster, um, unlike, as you say, some more perhaps career uh, potential criminals, um, there's a propaganda and spin element to it. And yet, on the other hand, um, he is, we learn, talking to insiders about the elector plot. He is consorting with some of the militias. So there's a, there's a hype to it, and then there's also appears to be a there there. Absolutely. And I wouldn't say that the hype is any sort of excuse. I mean, he tried that hype last time around. Remember, Roger Stone is a convicted seven times felon. He was convicted of witness tampering, convicted of obstruction of congressional investigation, five different counts of false statements to Congress. The jury took just seven hours to convict him, Ari, uh, even with his hype defense. And the only reason Stone wasn't in jail is because Bill, uh, because uh, because uh, Donald Trump pardoned him. And so, you know, I think the kind of uh, things that he was directing, he is kind of a bridge between the coupers, the people who were actually invading the Capitol, and the coup plotters and the inner circle of the White House.